my gorgeous guys and ghouls and all you spooky queens in between. As you can see from the title, today we are doing a jack o' lantern tutorial. So you're going to need a spirit gun, resin remover, homemade scar wax, which I've told you how to make in my previous video, petroleum jelly or vaseline, a pencil to mark out what you want to do, a fake blood, a stippling sponge, liquid latex and a little container to pour it in, applicator. So as we go in, we're just mapping out where we want the jack-o'-lantern carvings kind of thing to go on our face. I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Crayon in Milk. It's my absolute favourite. As you can see, it's very, very tiny. I need to get a new one soon. So just mapping out. I'm using Mikey Glam and Gore's tutorial kind of thing that she did a couple of years ago for this. Um, I, I'm not... Oh, my pencil broke. God damn it. Smush that back in there. Never happened. Never happened. Yes, I'm using Mikey's tutorial for this and i really like how it turns out i haven't put contacts in for a very long time um as you can see it's a bit of a struggle my eyes leaking like mad i hate this little stick thing i feel like i'm gonna poke myself in the eye but we got there in the end we did it <laughs> so using the spirit gum i'm going in and just placing it we're doing it in small sections i am placing it along the line of the mouth just so I can have a sticky base for my scar wax to adhere to. You want to do this in small sections because you don't want it to dry out and have to re-layer it etc. So you take your homemade scar wax and you roll it up into a little sausage making sure that this is drying to a nice tacky finish and we're just going to smush our little scar wax sausage up onto our face like so using a scalpel or anything. I normally use makeup brush ends, it can be anything, just to smooth out the edge to help blend it into the skin. Using petroleum jelly will help to um, smooth down the edges that little bit extra that you need, just to help blend it into the skin that little bit better. Continuing on with this method, all around the little outlined pieces that I've got going on here, I'm just smoothing down the edges, making sure that it's sticking down, using some Vaseline to blend out the edge, that little bit extra. And it's just that simple, really. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It's just fiddly and scar wax is literally the devil. I'm now going in with liquid latex. This is something that I don't normally do, so shout out to Mikey. She's never gonna see this, but <laughs> um, for suggesting this, I found that it helped hold the scar wax onto my face a hell of a lot better. Um, it basically just creates like a plastic layer, or well, latex, isn't it? So it just uh, like helps hold the scar wax onto your face that bit better. I'm just feathering out the edge just to make sure that it's a, a somewhat even blend down to the skin. Continuing on to the other side, I don't know why I've included so much of me doing this, but I just thought to help show you how to do it. I do this method all the way around. Everything that's white outlined basically is going to have this done to it. A whole lot of me just blend, 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 blend. <laughs> this is me realizing that I, I'm not gonna film it all. So here we are, here's the finished job. I've added a little pumpkin nose thing as well. We wanna leave it to dry going in with moon creations dark red paint it comes across a lot more pink on here i think my bright orange top throws the color contrast hue whatever out a hell of a lot so this is actually dark red it's not like a pinky color uh so yeah gotta deal with it we're gonna darken it up and everything later on anyway it doesn't matter if you get the paint over the top of the scar wax latex kind of fleshy bits or whatever because we're going to be grubbing them up anyway later on. Just remember to be mindful when you are applying near your eyes. These are water activated paints. So if you cry, if you get any of this paint in your eye and it makes your eye water, then it's going to run the paint and it's just going to look a hot mess. I mean, unless that's the look you're going for, but I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> I'm getting distracted really. I can't even remember what I was watching. I think I was watching Vampire Diaries or something. I re I'm re-watching it for like the thousandth time because I can't help myself. I'm a creature of habit and I like what I like, okay? Still looks pink, I don't know. But I'm going in with the black um, cake or 
paints now from Moon Creations and we're just running this around the inside of the little cutout areas that we've done with the scar wax and latex. This doesn't need to be neat, it's just adding that little bit more depth so it does look like it's going into my skin and I've cut away a chunk like you would a, with a pumpkin. It doesn't matter if you get it all over the scar wax latex outer part because it, it's a messy kind of thing anyway. You want it to look a bit ragged and jagged. Going in with a translucent baking powder now. This is the one from Obsession and I'm just using this to set all over my face. Uh, just to take away the shine from any of the latex, the scar wax and the paints mattifying it down loads realizing that my scar wax is nearly falling off but it's cool we just move forward it's okay it's okay using the grimoire palette from V cosmetics i'm just taking a gray shade and i'm running this around the outside of all of these little cut out pieces that we've done just to again add that little bit more depth and show that it's being brought out of the skin it's all shadows and highlights shadows and highlights are your best friend when it comes to special effects work it helps a hell of a lot now going in with my custom depotted pan palette this is my absolute baby it's beautiful and i'm taking this dark brown shade and i'm just kind of putting in some little rivet kind of things like you would have on a pumpkin uh they don't need to be perfect again messy is perfectly fine i'm going in with a bright orange and i'm just going to run this around all of the areas to give me more of a pumpkin looking feel the scar wax does not want to stay on my face as you can see it's gaping away luckily that latex is holding it in but well, <laughs> you can see it falling away from my chin. So I'm just using the orange eyeshadow and kind of blending it to make it a bit more pumpkin-y and going in with my favorite part now, the fake blood. I am running really low on scab blood. I need to get a new tub of it. This was just one, a cheap one off of eBay and it's just like a jelly kind of chunky blood. It's horrible, but it looks amazing. <laughs> So I'm just running this all around the edges, realizing that this is really hanging off now. So I'm trying to smush it back on to the best of my ability. This is the part where you do not need to be neat at all. As you can see, like I'm getting it everywhere. So we're just gonna blend it in, make it look like it was supposed to be there. And I'm really trying to stretch this scab blood out as much as I can because I'm scraping the little tub that I've got. Going in with the stippling sponge and more of like a liquidy, drippy blood, I am just kind of placing this anywhere and everywhere. It's still looking a little too red, so I'm going in with my black paint again, just to darken up the area a bit, because this is essentially a part of my skin that I have cut away, and I don't want to be able to see my lips, I don't want to be able to see any bright pink bits, I want it to be dark and gruesome. <laughs> I'm just going around and grubbing up the outer part of this again. Just taking my black paint and I'm dotting it and smudging it around everywhere. Just making it look a bit more gruesome. Taking the black paint again down my neck just so it's a bit more cohesive. Um, no actual real reason for this. It's just I like to do it. it. Blends it all in a lot better. And I think we're getting to the final touches now. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to my channel. If you like this, like, comment, and subscribe.